team, welcome to my four step tutorial on how to get your first chin up. So why is the chin up important? Well, it's a great move to get you really strong, you need minimal equipment and it makes you a badass. So step number one is we're going to start off on an incline row. So you're going to start off with your hands under hand grip like you will do in your chin up. You want to get your body in a straight line, in a plank position. So you want to squeeze your bum. Imagine someone sticking their finger up your bum. Imagine someone's going to punch you in the stomach, so you want a nice tight core. And you're going to be in a straight line. So from there, long arms, and then pulling yourself up so your chest is at the bar. So what you can do, three sets of six to 10 reps, it's time to make the bar lower. So you can go one notch at a time on here. If you're using the TRX, you can just make it a bit longer, so you get your body lower until you are almost horizontal. So you're gonna do your six to 10 reps, three sets, two to three times a week, until you can do it from this position. body in a straight line, squeeze your bum, squeeze your abs, and pull yourself up, your chest is at the bar. Once you can do three sets, ten reps, it's time to move on to the chin-up bar. Right, step number two, we're going to do negative chin-ups. So we're going to focus on the eccentric part of the movement which is where we're here, and we're slowly going to lower ourselves down. So we start off at the top. So the bar or the handles need to be around chest height. And this is your top position in the chin up. From there, take your feet off the bench, and slowly lower yourself down. Step back up into your top position in about three to five seconds and slow yourself down again. And when you're coming down, make sure you come all the way down so you've got that full extension in the arm and the arms are straight. I want you to do three sets, six to ten reps, two to three times a week. And when you can do three sets of ten, move on to step number three. So step number three, you're going to use a band. And what the band does, it helps you back up. And it gives you more help at the bottom and less help at the top. So the resistance profile changes. So what you're going to do is you're going to start off with the band long. And what that means is the band's going to go around your foot. Step into the band. strongest that's going to give you the most help so you may want to start there and the lightest one is a red one and that's going to give you the least help right so once you can do three sets of ten repetitions with a long band you're going to turn it into a short band and all that means instead of putting the band around your foot you put it around your knee so the band won't stretch as much which means the exercise is more challenging it's the same position Hands in the underhand grip, core is nice and tight, start with the long position, long arms, shoulder blades back and down, pull yourself up. Once you can do 10 reps in the short band position, I guarantee you, you'll be able to do at least one body weight chin up with no help. Absolutely looks like. Underhand grip, 
nice long body, long arms. And pulling your chest to the bar. Or as I like to say, bring the bar down towards your chest. And that is it. Four steps to get your first body weight chin up. Let me know how you go and I'll see you later.